angry. Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. <clears throat> why, why are you fighting? It's okay, Gabe. Your dad's just a bit of a bully is all. <clears throat> Come on. I got it. You can't run from this. Not anymore. You want me around more? Fine. But goddamn, are you still one raging asshole? You know that. You want some? Yeah. Okay, sure. <clears throat> we are setting an awesome example. Oh yeah, the second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? Sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. Oh, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. What's that smell? We're, um... We're smoking weed, Mariana. I already know you guys do drugs. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. And then we'll get sick of other people instead of each other. But the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. No need to change what's already working. Cool Uncle Javi. Why? Because you used to hit balls with sticks for money? Real cool. No, I'm cool because I used to hit them really far. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Well, it's not like I saw your name on it. Don't fucking test me, boy. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Fuck! Hey! I'm already having a bad fucking day here. This is not what it looks like. What it looks like is you shot an unarmed guy in the back. Or is that not what I saw? Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Cause I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Call it what you want. You're a thief. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Now, come on. This whole silent loner thing you got going on? Just be real with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Usually, it's just me on my own. Yeah. Well, it shows. Meaning what? Meaning you could sure use a dust-up on those people skills. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. You want me to trust you? Give me a reason. Don't make me regret this. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I'm not the one you should be worried about. Well, you know the score around here, Clementine. Don't do anything that would make me want to pick you up and throw you the fuck out. And I won't pick you up and throw you the fuck out. My boots weigh more than you. I don't start trouble. I finish it. Okay, Captain Big Nuts, we get it. 
but I catch wind of you finishing anything while you're in town, and you're finished. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire! And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck happened here? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he stop. was- Stop, just stop talking. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. I'm not apologizing for that. You killed a man, you were out of line. You know I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> just goes to show you. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. God damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! Hey, Jake! Come on! <laughs> You found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Gross. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? Mari! Oh. I'm gonna fucking kill him! I'm gonna kill all of them! We stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go, now! I already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Nah, I'll, I'll probably just travel around. You know, see what's out there. Wanna take me with you? Uh... Sure. Just... Finish up with those dishes and I'll bring the car around. <laughs> but I pick the music. <laughs> yeah, never mind then. What was that noise? Guys! Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. David, come on, take it easy. It was an accident. Stay out of this hobby. Not until you step away and cool off. We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. Wanna take me with you? Well? Well, what about David? <laughs> what about David? You don't know him like I do. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. Kate's gonna leave your ass. What? She told Honey! me so. You said that? Jesus fucking Christ, no! We were talking about traveling and I just... No, I definitely didn't say that. At all. Just my advice. One parent to another. Yeah, well, I don't need your advice. Just trying to help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You're right. You should have stayed. Kate needed you back there. I needed you back there. I know, I just... I just lost it. That's not an excuse. Not anymore. He needs to come with us! Answer to justice! Accept his punishment! Go fuck yourselves! 
You're not getting shit from us. Francine! <laughs> you hurt her, I'll kill you. Go ahead and do it. She doesn't mean anything to me. What, motherfucker? I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> Francine! <laughs> oh my god. Now get your ass down oh my god. here, or I Please. cut off the rest of them. We should start shooting. Let's get. Francine! Wasn't for him! Back the fuck off! Now! Just back away! Take it easy, son. Come on, kid. Don't touch my uncle again. Fuck me. Gabe! Let him go. He just needs to cool off. Whew. Real nice job there, Javi. Hey. You okay? Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. Sounds like a recipe for trouble. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh. It really hurts. <laughs> wow, I never knew you were the self-pitying type. Well... Seems like we're pretty fucked. No shit, we're fucked. That's all you gotta say. We're gonna tie you up and make sure your story checks out. That's really not necessary. Bind his hands. Better safe than sorry. <sighs> Whatever you say. Please. God, there's so many. But if you shoot me, you'll have to deal with all of them. Pretty big group of them out there. But it'll pass. Eventually. Stop talking, do what I say, and you might survive this. Yes, ma'am. You seem kind of young to be a mom. What are you, 13? I'm old enough to put a bullet in you. I wasn't their prisoner. I was... I was one of them. Oh my god! It was a mistake, and so was not telling you about it. They murdered Mariana! She was ten years old! Like I said, I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Okay, let's go. We gotta... I wouldn't touch that gun, girl. You either, cowboy. What the hell are you doing? I heard you too. You think I'm stupid? Jesus! Conrad, lower the fucking gun! This isn't necessary! Lower it? You're missing the bigger picture, son. Don't you see? We bring her to Richmond, they'll give us whatever we want. Holy shit! Oh my... oh my god! Where's Conrad? He's gone. He didn't make it up. I'm sorry. So that's it? He just... Oh, man. Don't you see? We bring her to Richmond, they'll give us whatever we want. Medical help for Kate. She's our bargaining chip. That could actually work. What? You can't be serious. If it saves Kate's life, you bet I'm serious. Screw both of you. I'm not doing this. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. Come on, man. Be reasonable. I'm sorry, Clem. You're a fucking coward. A fucking coward. Javi, how? How could you? She lied to escape. She put herself above all of us. Clementine! How long's it been? Not long enough. Phew. She's a liar, that's what. Told us a bunch of tall tales, tried to pull us into her shit. They didn't drop their weapons. I didn't have a choice or they would've... Oh my God. Dad? <laughs>